published 0409 est the 21st of November 2017 updated 1322 s the 21st of November 2017 he's the former unified light welterweight world champion having held the WBA title from 2009 to 2012 as well as the IBF title in 2011, but despite his tough reputation, Amir Khan pulled out of his Bush Tucker trial on Monday morning, shocking his fellow campmates when he admitted he was terrified of snakes. However after pictures surfaced showing the boxer, 30, posing with a huge yellow python in a nightclub back in 2011, fans accused him of faking his fear. Scroll down for video get him out of there Amir Khan has been accused of faking fear of snakes after a 2011 picture of him posing with a giant Burmese python emerged no match despite his tough reputation Amir had to pull out of the Bush Tucker trial on IC as his fear of snakes proved to be too much for him to handle the father of fern looks relaxed as he stands next to the club hostess holding the sizable reptile showing no sign of a phobia. However, Georgie Lehi, the woman who owns Albino Burmese Python's Linky which appeared on the 2011 series of Britain's Got Talent, has confirmed Amir was in fact scared of the creature. I remember him being a bit scared of Slinky, and one of the guys was like, no, do it, you've got to get a picture, she told the mirror. I do remember he was scared he doesn't look it in the picture. You can tell Slinky really likes him because H.E.S. got his tongue out. Slinky was really excited to meet him. Most of the time because Slinky loves me so much had come back to me, but in this picture H.E.S. going right for Amir Bell but the snake handler Amir posed with back in 2011 has since said he was scared but put on a brave face for the camera picture trying to get through the task as the snaps emerged. Fans add to Twitter to accuse the boxer of faking his fear for airtime. Yep, really scared. One follower joked, while another added me thinks Amir has Eddie May celeb a lot and is playing a character to get airtime. I think Amir is playing a game. And Another added, while one wrote he ain't that scared lads mess a mail online has contacted Amir's representatives for comment. Yep, really scared as the snaps emerged. Fans add to Twitter to accuse the boxer of faking his fear for airtime on Monday. The British champion was forced to leave the camp without food as he pulled out of his trial after failing to face his fears of the snake-filled pit. Amir left his campmates in shock on Monday night as he said I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here during the first Bush Tucker trial, the boxer gave up on the challenge after being faced with his biggest fear, snakes therefore leaving the entire camp without food for 24 hours. While he admitted he had been terrified, his partner in crime Georgia Toftofolo was furious with his actions, later telling camp. I'd actually cry, not so tough Amir left his campmates in shock on Monday night as he said I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here during the first Bush Tucker trial the pair embarked on the challenge at the start of the episode which took place underground in a giant termites. Nest, one contestant was locked in a dark chamber, while the other had to make the way around the nest and find eight different keys attached to numbered discs. The eight keys could then be used to undo the padlocks on the door of the chamber and rescue the other celebrity. Terrified the 30-year-old gave up on the challenge after being faced with his biggest fear, snakes therefore leaving the entire camp without food for 24 hours horrified as the trial began, a terrified Toff shrieked as cockroaches were tipped all over her, while Amir began to struggle against a corridor of maggots the duo had 10 minutes to complete the trial otherwise the whole camp will be subject to another night of rice and beans. The blonde beauty confessed she felt Amir would be better rescuing her as he was more capable than her, so she agreed to be locked in, as the trial began, a terrified Amir began to struggle against a corridor of maggots, but comes to a stop when he faces a hole of snakes admitting I'm scared, I can't do this man. Gone wrong however, as he tried to pull out the key from the hole, he ended up pulling out the snake itself causing him to freak out, while Antondek laughed in shock however. As he tried to pull out the key from the hole, he ended up pulling out the snake itself causing him to freak out, while Antondek laughed in shock. Scrambling desperately down the tunnel, Amir admitted I can't do it, I'm sorry, and shouted I'm a celebrity, get me out of Horea clearly unimpressed off however immediately whined why did you say that? We're not going to eat disbelief scrambling desperately down the tunnel, Amir admitted. I can't do it, I'm sorry, and shouted I'm a celebrity, get me out of here justifying his decision, the former world champion said sadly after emerging from the tunnel this was my first trial, I thought you'd take it easy on me, I'm scared of snakes.
before adding sheepishly I couldn't take it, I just had to run, I've never screamed so much in my life and I've been hit in the face realizing a mere really didnt know what he had signed up for, and laughed you really haven't seen the show before have you? We don't take it easy on you. As if justifying his decision, the former world champion said sadly, after emerging from the tunnel, this was my first trial, I thought you'd take it easy on me, I'm scared of snakes awkward realizing Amir really didnt know what he had signed up for, and laughed you really haven't seen the show before have you? We don't take it easy on ya not happy not a fan. Amir later added sheepishly to the hosts I couldn't take it, I just had to run I've never screamed so much in my life and I've been hit in the face however, Toff was clearly unimpressed with his decision, simply adding I thought you were going to smash it, later on away from Amir the blonde vented her frustrations at his sacking of the challenge. She said him really upset and really shocked he said it. There's no way I was leaving everyone else has got to eat rice and beans now and it's horrible, as half of them haven't had a good breakfast. Shocked however, Toff was clearly unimpressed with his decision, simply adding I thought you were going to smash it certain she confessed later on him really upset and really shocked he said it. There's no way I was leaving while Amir continued to justify his decision by stating they're going to be upset, as I know how hard it is to eat just rice and beans. I feel bad from the team because I really wanted to get some meal tickets but I just had to give up it. Got so hard. Upon the return to camp, Jamie Lomas began to laugh at the story and admitted he didnt believe the pair. What have I done while Amir continued to justify his decision by stating I feel bad from the team because I really wanted to get some meal tickets but... I just had to give up, it got so hard, however Toff, who became quite emotional, later snapped when back in camp, have you not seen me? I'm devastated. I could actually cry taken aback, Jamie proceeded to express his shock in the Bush Telegraph, and revealed. He had not expected Amir to be so terrified as a boxer and supposed tough guy. I'm gobsmacked, he said. I never thought Amir Khan, who fights for a living, would be shouting him a celebrity, but it turns out he said those dreaded words. He must be petrified of snakes Amir had already caused a stir among viewers earlier on, when he admitted he did not know what a critter was which Toff deemed alarming, devastated Toff who became quite emotional, later snapped when back in camp have you not seen me? I'm devastated. I could actually cry viewers immediately took to Twitter to express the hilarity, and question whether he had been hit in the head too many times in the ring, one kicked things off by writing Amir Khan is literally as thick as fudge while another question not being funny but how many blows to the head has Amir Khan had because HES coming across pretty thick further fans pondered is Amir actually okay or has boxing knocked out every brain cell, Amir ISNT the sharpest tool in the shed is he, and Amir Khan can't really be that stupid can he? What's a critter? Confused. Amir had caused a stir among fans earlier on the episode, when he admitted he didnt know what a critter was is he okay? Viewers immediately took to Twitter to express the hilarity, and question whether he had been hit in the head too many times in the ring while others vented the shock at his lack of knowledge, writing Amir is so illiterate it hurts my ears listening to him talk in the simple play on words, Amir can't, however, a number of viewers were quick to praise the boxer and claim his daft nature only added comedy value to the show. One wrote oh my gosh Amir has me in stitches already and it's only gone on to the ad break as another agreed Amir is. A comedy genius while others chimed in Amir Khan is a gift that keeps on giving and Amir is hilarious, without actually trying and knowing. Lad is so daft. Comedy value however, a number of viewers were quick to praise the boxer and claim his daft nature only added comedy value to the show milling around the episode also saw the contestants get used to their outdoor surroundings in camp the episode also saw the contestants get used to their outdoor surroundings in camp. While the boys discovered this year's camp even featured a bath, a usually glamorous Toff admitted she absolutely stank after just 24 hours in the outback, she revealed with a laugh, as she enjoyed her first jungle shower my pits are actually unbearable. I stink Dennis, Jenny and Becky later embarked on the first dingo dollar challenge, which saw them faced with a giant roulette wheel. Making a move Dennis, Jenny and Becky later embarked on the first dingo dollar challenge, which saw them faced with a giant roulette wheel if they landed on the win section with a spin, a light would come on. 
However, if they spun into the black section, the other two contestants would be dunked in a pool of freezing cold and grubby water. It's kind of potluck spinning a wheel I sent it. Jenny observed, before joking give it a big spin and hope for the best. I think it's called roulette. I think it's called a mugs game. However, after a long afternoon plunging in and out of the water, the trio finally lit up all three lights, and were given access to the coveted dingo dollars. Taking the currency to the shop, the trio then had to ask Camp a trivia question, in order to win a treat of tea and biscuits. Piece of cake they success he completed the challenge and returned with a selection of biscuits for camp above the question was what percentage of British people would rather have a cup of tea and a biscuit than go out on a date. 83% or 67% Shappy immediately felt the higher and almost everyone agreed, but Amir was sure the number was too low, however, the boxer was proved to be wrong and the challenges excitedly returned to camp. With the treats in hand, Vanessa said with delight that was the best biscuit I have ever had while Toff added it's amazing how much pleasure can come from a small biscuit. Unfortunately for camp, Amir was then voted to the next Bush Tucker trial, which will air on Tuesday night's episode. Round 2 Unfortunately for camp, Amir was then voted to the next Bush Tucker trial, which will air on Tuesday night's episode.